Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith, and this is my video on advanced multi-tracking with Aria Pro. For me, coming from a hardware world, the hardest part about com coming into the iOS was the connections. I didn't know how to connect things. I came from a world of MIDI cables, audio wires. I didn't know how all this went together. I didn't know how all these various synths tied together and how to make them work in a, a fashion that was right for me. On top of that, I wanted to bring my hardware into this whole equation. So it took me a little while to find a road, a path that I liked. I figured I'd share it with everybody else. You have the capability to bring in synthesizers yourself in Aria Pro. But if you can see the list here, two, four, six, seven, it only finds seven of my apps. I have more than seven apps installed on here. Audio Bus is always the first app I start with when laying out my workflow on the iOS. I'll lay Audio Bus out first. I'll throw Mod Step into my first channel, which is my sequencer for whenever I want to sequence something. Then I throw all my instruments onto the channels after that. And I run all my chan instruments outputs into ARIA Pro. You can run ARIA Pro as many times as you want for as many instruments as you have. Now, Audio Bus has the ability to add effects. You can add effects on the individual lines right here on the middle column. But the cool thing about working with ARIA Pro is it finds a lot of your effects apps, actually a lot more than your synth apps. You, it finds pretty much every effect app I've ever bought. And those effects can be sent with returned and send exactly knobs, exactly like on a mixer. So between the send and return for the effects and the sliders and the nice multi-track mode which is actually recording my audio right now for this video my go-to program it when merging and multi-tracking audio in the ios so now that i have audio bus here and it's run into a mixer style program and multi-track recorder which is aria pro the cool thing about that is i can now either play these live via via the keyboards on the program or via the sequencer on mod step like before now I'm actually playing the microcore live on top of it And the, that's all stopped by the transport in Audio Bus right here. I actually have control over stop and play over every thing that's connected to Audio Bus. Now, the way Mod Step is actually connected to these synthesizers is each synthesizer has their own MIDI channel, like a hardware synth. This is set to MIDI channel 2. My Moog, my Moog is set to... MIDI channel one, and mod step gives me all the options I need to send MIDI information to those synths. Now, I am actually recording my live microphone on top of my microcorg on top of those. I bring my live audio in via ARIA, and I like to work within ARIA. I It's very easy to bring in audio within ARIA itself. All you have to do is arm a track and select the, the input you want on the input right here. You can't do it while it's recording, so it won't let me do it now, but while it's not recording, you have that option. So between the audio coming in from ARIA the synths being on audio bus, which are triggered, 
via mod step, you have a complete overall connection into ARIO for all your iOS synths, all your hardware synths, and your ability to sequence all those. Because mod step can also sequence hardware. 